Like a melody, a scale is a sequence of notes. What makes a scale unique is the pattern of intervals between the related notes. The key of a piece of music is determined by the scale used to construct it. The major scale is the most commonly used scale of all. A scale is made up of eight notes. These notes are referred to as degrees which are written out using Roman numerals. Each of these degrees has a name. They are, first tonic, second supertonic, third mediant, fourth subdominant, fifth dominant, sixth submediant, seventh leading tone, and eighth tonic again. The most important note in the scale is the fifth degree, the dominant. The distances between notes, or pitches, on the scale are called intervals. Thus, the intervals that link together the eight degrees of the C major scale are step, step, half step, 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 half step. Some people refer to them as whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. This pattern of intervals can be applied to create a major scale based on any of the 12 different notes of the octave. This is the C major scale. This is the G major scale. Please note that there is a sharp sign on F note to raise it by half step. This is the F major scale. Please note that there is a flat sign on B note to lower it by half step. Sometimes a composer may want to override the key signatures, cancelling the sharps and flats, and turning the affected notes back to their originals. The natural sign is placed in front of the notes. The key signatures for all of the major scales can be recognized from the number of sharps and flats shown at the beginning of the staff. We'll look at the minor scales next time.